Hi, my name is Keith Bird. This is my wife, Wanda. We've been attending Harvest Outreach for four and a half years. Well, before we came to Harvest Outreach, uh, actually we were unchurched. We'd, uh, I was born and raised Catholic, uh, kind of left that faith at about the age of 15. Uh, Wanda had a Southern Baptist background. I went to church with my grandmother, a little Baptist church in a small town in Mississippi. Till, probably till I was in, probably a teenager and then hadn't been to church at all until we came to Harvest. I was a professional musician, so I was living that life of, uh, as I always say, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. And we lived that life and we spent more time in and out of clubs and gigging. That's um, where we met. Uh, in, a, in a club, in a bar. In a bar. Uh, so that was life. We were deep in sin. I mean, deep in sin. And, uh, and that's what the Lord led us. He knew we were searching for a way out. And we really thought we were living the life. We thought that was the life. We had status. <laughs> so we thought. <laughs> yes. Well, one of the first ways we heard of our Harvest Outreach was we had a good friend that had lived next door to us for years um, and had, had attended. I uh, wasn't attending at the time but and had since moved away and uh, we still maintain contact and to uh, be quite honest we still uh, went to parties with him and uh, had those type of occasions and uh, he turned me on to some CDs, uh, Pastor Archie preaching in the praise band and, uh, and we knew about it and that was really our first introduction to Harvest Outreach. We actually went to a Christmas program the first in Lansdale. That's right. And then uh, we, were, we'd read, we were reading The uh, Purpose Driven Life and deciding that we were going to look for a church. And we had talked about all these churches we were going to visit, but we went to Harvest and we never went anywhere else. Yeah, I always have claimed that uh, the <laughs> Lord brought us to Harvest Outreach. We didn't choose Harvest Outreach. Right. He chose it for us and brought us, brought us in. And, of course, when we got there, being of a Catholic background and her being of a Southern Baptist background, uh, Quite frankly, we had never seen anything like that, but uh, it was cool. It arrested me immediately, convicted me. The first Sunday we were there, I raised my hand to accept Christ and uh, rededicated my life to Christ since then. Uh, and uh, ensued, our family followed. You know, so it's been a cool ride, a good journey. Okay, I just have to say, I thought you guys were crazy. I thought Harvest <laughs> was a cra I never in my life seen people screaming, and, and I said, never am I going to act like that. Well, guess what? Now I'm one of those crazy screaming people for God. That's right. Well, since we've attended Harvest Outreach, the Lord has really uh, opened up His promises to us. He's been faithful in our lives. Uh, he's asked us to be faithful. And since we've been there, uh, I've received a healing, uh, complete healing. Uh, it's kind of funny. I refer to it as one day was and one day wasn't. And one day I was in need of a bone marrow transplant, and the next day I wasn't. Uh, same type of thing, you know, one day I had alcohol issues, next day I didn't. Uh, Wanda, one day was a smoker, next one day was day. not. Right. You know, so the Lord's been faithful. Uh, we've seen all three of our children come to Christ. Uh, just saw my little six-year-old grandchild come to Christ mm -hmm. uh, at their home church. So that was a great occasion a few weeks ago. But we've seen the Lord just moving and and uh, fulfilling his promises to us, you know, and uh, we believe, and since we believed, he's given us the promises of eternal life, and, and we've rested on that, and of course, since we're a charismatic church and spirit-filled, uh, we believe in, in what the Spirit's doing in and through Harvest Outreach and through the people, through the staff. Uh, we just have received the anointing, and he has continued to bring us into places. Uh, one day I was working at the business, next day I was owning the business uh, so he's been faithful so we've uh, we've seen a lot of great things accomplished um, through prayer through the fellowship uh, just through the whole experience of attending Harvest Outreach Church I mean it definitely has changed our lives um, so we've changed uh, our marriage changed our marriage definitely I mean, changed our marriage we uh, you know we didn't meet we met in some weird circumstances and uh, our relationship was born of sin uh, but through the process and through the sanctification of our lives and uh, through our marriage it, he sanctified our marriage for us so uh, it's been nothing but but a great ride you know and, and we've loved every minute of it
Um, I could talk and talk for hours about the things that God has done for us since we've been to Harvest, but one thing that really changed me, Pastor Archie had invited the leaders to an encounter weekend, and I said to Keith, well, I don't have to go, and he said, it's mandatory, you have to go, and I said, oh, I was scared to death, but that weekend literally changed my life because I had fear that that weekend I had an encounter with God, and it took it away totally for, I guess my whole life I'd lived in fear, so that's really, really changed my life since then.